Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel Easy Mathematics. Now it is time for the binomial theorem. So the statement for the theorem is if x and y be two variables and n greater equals to 0 be any integer then x plus y to the power n is equals to summation of n c r x to the power r y to the power n minus r. And if we expand it where r is 0 to n. So when r is equals to 0 we will find out nc0 x to the power 0 means 1 then y to the power n. So it is the first term. When r is equals to 1 then we will get nc1 x y to the power n minus 1 and likewise the remaining terms we will find out. Now if we want to prove this then for the proof here we are supposed to prove x plus y to the power n is equals to this expression or the summation. So now we can write x plus y to the power n as x plus y into x plus y into x plus y in this way up to n terms. If x is chosen from r terms then y must be chosen from the remaining n minus r terms. We can take the first r terms or r factors from here for the coefficient or for the power of x and the remaining factors we can choose for the power of y so that we will find out the terms of the kind x to the power r y to the power n minus r. Again r terms can be selected from n terms here total n terms are given so from this n terms r terms can be selected in n c r ways that we know. So then that means x to the power r y to the power n minus r appears in c r times hence we can write here x plus y to the power n is equals to n c r x to the power r y to the power n minus r and all such terms we will find out if then we take it in the summation where summation is tending from or from 0 to n this is our binomial theorem. Now, if n be a positive integer, then x 1 plus x to the power n is equals to, we can write summation of r is equals to 0 to n, where n c r x to the power r. Here, we consider instead of y as 1, then 1 plus x. Now, if we expand, then the same thing, we just substitute r for 0, 1, 2, 3 and we will get this series. Now there are few more general series which we use very often. So among this series one most important is the 1 plus x whole to the power minus n. n may be 1, 2, 3, 4 anything. If it is so then according to the binomial we will find out this series as summation r from 0 to infinity remember because these all are the infinite series. Now minus 1 to the power r then n plus r minus 1 cr into x to the power r. If we expand it then we will find out so. Instead of 1 plus x to the power minus n if it is 1 minus x to the power minus n then we will get the same type of series only the alternative plus minus sign will be not here. That's so why we will get this series. For specific if we consider n is equal to 2 then we will find out 1 plus x to the power minus 2 is equal to 1 minus 2x plus 3x square minus 4x cube plus dot 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 and up to infinity. If it is 1 minus x to the power minus 2 then accordingly all terms are positive. Instead of 2 if n is equal to 3 then we will find out this 2 series. Similarly, n is equals to 1 for we will find out the infinite series for n is equals to 4. Also, we can find out the infinite series and likewise we can construct any such kind of binomial series. If the power is positive, then it is the finite series and if the power is negative, then it is an infinite series. Now, there are few problems related to the binomial. So, now the first problem is... Find the coefficient of x to the power 5 in the expression 4x plus 5 to the power 15. Now 4x plus 5 to the power 15, here total 15 factors are there. So that we can write x 
फोर एक्स प्लस फाइव टू दावर फिफ्टीन इज इक्वल्स टू दिस वे देर आर टोटल फिफ्टीन टर्म्स सो ना आवर टार्गेट इज टू फाइंड आउट द प्रोफिशेंट ऑफ एक्स टू दावर फाइव दैट मीन्स फ्रॉम दिस फैक्टर्स दिस फिफ्टीन फैक्टर्स वी आर सपोज टू चूज एनी फाइव फैक्टर्स सो इफ वी चूज एनी फाइव फैक्टर्स दैन वी विल डेफिनेटली फाइंड आउट द प्रोफिशेंट ऑफ एक्स टू दावर ऑफ फाइव एंड अमांग दिस फिफ्टीन फैक्टर्स इफ वी आर सपोज टू चूज एनी फाइव then there are 15 c5 such ways so now if we substitute according to the binomial theorem then corresponding to the term x to the power 5 that means corresponding to the coefficient of x to the power 5 we will find out 15 c5 then x means here 4x to the power 5 and then 5 to the power n minus r that means 5 to the power 15 minus 5 If we simplify, then we will find out 15 c5, 4 to the power 5, and 5 to the power 10 is the coefficient of x to the power of 5. Similarly, one more problem is given. So, the determine the coefficient of x to the power 5, y to the power 10 in the expression of x plus y to the power 15, and find the coefficient of x to the power 5 y to the power 3 in the expression of x plus y to the power of 8 so now for this expression x to the power 5 y to the power 10 here the expression is x plus y to the power 15 so 15 means 10 plus 5 15 total always in a binomial you can choose any term they are the variables for you just choose the powers of the each variables after addition of these powers you will find out ultimately the total power of the expression definitely it has to be same likewise in the second problem 5 plus 3 means 8 that's why the expression is chosen from x plus y to the power of 8 now the coefficient of this one in the first term it is Out of fifteen, we should choose any five term for the x to the power five. So it is fifteen c five, and definitely then fifteen c five x to the power five. You will find out into y to the power fifteen minus five that is ten. So the coefficient is this one. Similarly, in the second expression, the coefficient is eight c five, eight c five, and that is the total answer. Now one more question. It is the determine the coefficient of x to the power five, y to the power four, z to the power three in the expression x plus y plus z to the power twelve. Here, instead of the two variables, there are total three variables x, y, and z, and the total sum of the power is five plus four is nine plus three is twelve. It is equals to this power. Now we can assume x, y plus z is equals to u, so that we can express this expression as x plus u to the power twelve. So x plus u to the power twelve is expressed in this way. And here, the coefficient of x to the power five, if we want to find out, then it has to be twelve c five. So twelve c five x to the power five, and definitely u to the power seven is the remaining part. Now in the u to the power seven means x plus y plus z to the power seven. In this expression, we are supposed to find out the coefficient for y to the power of four, which we will find out as seven c four. Then it is y to the power four and z to the power three. Very obvious. Hence the total coefficient corresponding to this term is we will find out twelve c five into seven c four. So now if you simplify. Then it is 12 factorial by 5 factorial into 12 minus 5 means 7 factorial into for this one 7 factorial, 4 factorial. Then 7 minus 4 is 3 factorial. If we simplify this 7 factorial, 7 factorial cancel out. Hence it is 12 factorial divided by 5 factorial into 4 factorial into 3 factorial. So that's all for the binomial. In our next, in our next lecture we start the Eisenhower principle. Thanks for watching.